Okay, in this tutorial, which is part six, we'll just take a look at uh, some workflow associated with your image mapping. Because you can see by now, it's uh, a lot of it's unwrapping it, marking seams, things of that nature. So a lot of that's going to be just a lot of practice on your own part, just experimenting around. But now notice I have a different image, this PNG. Let's get the old image I had just a minute ago. It was uh, Simple Tests 2, like this. And what we're going to do in here is within the image editor, just move this over like that so you can see it. So now you kind of get an idea how as you unwrap things and they show up here in the image editor window, how you can kind of move things around. So then it might come back down to, well, when you do your designs in the first place, however you design your graphics, that you might be building cylindrical shape things or circular things for top edges and you know rectangular state shape things for the strips or all the way around a cylinder and things of that nature but so, you, so it's common to work back and forth between a paint program so you can come up in here into the menu and it says image edit externally all right so when I click this in here it's going to load a copy of GIMP that I have on the system right now and it immediately loads it in here it's pretty cool because then I can come into here and I'll just pick up here's my toolbar right here it's got the color black set like that and I just grab the regular paint tool and maybe I'll just come in here and say oh, I don't want you know these guys on this side for whatever reason I'm just making a quick example I'll just get rid of it I actually use my own paint program instead of this one but well, I use this one as well but this just kinda gives you an idea so maybe I'll get rid of these just like that and then I'll save that as I'll save it as my edited versions like this and I'll replace it. There we go. So I've just saved that file. I'll move this back out of the way. And then when I come over here, I want to reload a different file. I'll just replace it with that edited version. And so there it is, and there it is instantly available on here like this. So depending upon what paint program you want, you like to use, you can come up here and here to the user preference window. You have to set it. Come up here to user preferences and then over here to the file tab right here, right there. And then you come down here and click this and go search on your computer and find the software, the .exe that you want to use. And then once you save it as a default, then it's loaded in there and that's how it knows to load that program. So that's very convenient. They really think of a lot of great things to make your life simpler when working with this. Yep. Okay, well that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.